So happy Thanksgiving for everyone here in the US. So I started looking at the data that I captured this morning. Comet 3i Atlas is coming pretty early in the morning now, almost like four o'clock. It used to come at 4.30, then five o'clock, and now it is moved earlier and earlier. So we have actually a lot more longer time to capture. And as it comes like closer and closer to the early hours, like around six, it is getting higher too. And for me, like behind me, my sky, I don't get any more light pollution if it is goes higher. So I started seeing a lot more clear images, even though it is getting closer to the uh, sunrise. So what I noticed with the data now, observationally, it is looking, going super fast. So I have to slow it down to make sense out of it. I wanted to observe carefully now. So because we are seeing a lot of different ways. So I started doing a lot of changes in the process, the way I'm doing. So when I started, I shared in my previous videos, I pretty much removed any filters, anything. I'm just putting a color camera and taking pictures using the telescope. I wanted to try it out by removing the infrared and the ultraviolet, the IR UV uh, from the picture. Uh, typically, we do that when we are taking pictures of comets. So to my surprise, when I take that out, I don't see it is looking weird. It is looking almost like a comet. I'm going to share those pictures with you. I tried different ways. No matter what I'm doing, it is looking like a comet. So there is something weird going on. Is this really a comet because the way we are looking at it? Or maybe the type of data, maybe the type of wavelengths that we are looking at will change how we look at it. I don't have all the data I need to prove that. In coming days, I may have a lot more, but I'm going to compare the pictures that I took before or the video that I took before and the video that I took now, and I'll show you the contrast between those two. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, and also click on the notifications button. You will get notified when I post the new videos on Comet 3A Atlas or any other uh, astronomy um, videos. A quick note, I'm seeing a lot of people sharing my pictures and videos. I really appreciate that, thank you. But please do mention like my channel name. It helps us grow, uh, thank you. I'll quickly show you the data. So let me show you the data I got. So this is from this morning. I took several pictures, quite a bit of data. I was quite impressed by the amount of time that now we have to do a detailed capture of those pictures. And take a look at this. This is what I was trying to tell you. So take a look at this comet. We are still calling it a comet. And it is pretty much looking normal like any other comets that we take from distance. The only difference between the previous captures what I did versus now is I put a filter. It won't give me that IR and UV. And somehow it removed all the colors from that. And it just... I went ahead 
and did various things to figure out how do we how do we address this so what's going on so one of the things that i did was i removed the noise from the pictures so once i started removing the noise i started seeing these two jets kind of thing one on each side so this is the first video that i captured it is rotating you can clearly see that but other than that it can definitely be visible like a comet if you remove the infrared from this comet i don't think i'm confirming that for sure but at least that's what the difference between my previous capture and this morning's capture was and then i exported again one more time this is third time i did the video this time i zoomed in further i'm going to take this data and show you what i found so this is the same video the first second and third only difference was in the third one i just zoomed in a little bit so it's actually a good idea to reduce the speed a, a little bit like almost to 50% it's still super fast so it's not going to really be helpful i did change the colors on the to see if i can see the same what i noticed before look at that the moment you reduce the colors you will start noticing what is inside that that core this is the version right which is really a close up version of it so let me try doing the same thing which is reducing the curves a little bit let's reduce the color the brightness the brightness inside the brightness you see that brightness this is what confuses me all the time okay so this is the that color and this is the brightness you see that it's going down and if i show you the remaining images they pretty much give you that perspective of all the structures there for the rest of the video whereas i'll do the same thing now to these i reduce the brightness i'll also zoom in and reduce the brightness further if i have to maybe it is still there once we reduce the brightness further and further Okay so anyway so that makes me even though it looks like a comet once you reduce the brightness of the comet if you definitely zoom in there is a possibility of seeing a bit of a structure there but it looks very different from the day before I'll capture more data and I'll come back to you all based on the new findings I do have some ideas now So if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and click on the notifications button you will get a notification when i post a new video whether it's for 3 atlas or any other astronomy video thank you